Well, hey there, I'm Jay. Welcome to my booth. The question of pop filters, they're a, they're a very important part of your kit as a voiceover artist. So which ones are the best? What's the difference between them? And why would you choose one over the other? Well, we'll start with these sort of foamy ones that sit on your microphone like this. Uh, the benefits of these microphone or these pop filters are they're low profile, meaning you don't have this big old disc sitting in your face blocking your field of vision, which is really beneficial in a lot of use cases, at least for me personally, it's sort of a pet peeve. The downside of these types of pop filters is that sometimes the higher frequencies that your microphone can hear, uh, it will sort of deaden them a little bit. You may be able to hear it if you click back and forth in this video uh, to hear the A and B between now and then. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some microphones, for example, the Sennheiser MKH416 is a very bright microphone, at least relative to a lot of other microphones. So with this one, it actually helps, in my voice at least, the profile of sound by putting this uh, foam filter on because it tames those high frequencies and to my ear at least makes them just a smidge more palatable. Um, now for other microphones, that may not be something that you want, in which case, I would avoid the foamy stick-on to the microphone and opt for something more like a screen. One moment. So as an additional demonstration of the transparency or lack thereof of these spongy filters, this is the Earthworks Ethos, which uh, is one of my broadcast microphones. And with the sponge on, or the pop filter, pop shield, whatever you want to call it, attached to it, it sounds a bit like this. And now here's the pop filter off. And the difference is quite extreme uh, in terms of the AB. So here's the Earthworks Ethos with the pop shield on. Uh, once again, let your ears get used to this. And here's the Ethos with the foam is off, baby. The foam is off. And one last time with the foam on. This is how it sounds with the foam on. And for the final time, this is with the foam off. So let me know if you heard the difference there and if you think it sounds better or worse without, I would be very curious to know your thoughts. So a screen, the benefits of these are sort of the inverse of the foamy clown nose type ones in that they're more transparent. They're not going to deaden any frequencies of sound necessarily, or at least they won't nearly as much as one of these will. Uh, but they can sort of get in your way a little bit. Um, and depending on your tolerance there, it may not be an issue for you at all. Now, the difference between certain uh, screen pop filters, some are metal, some are made out of a fabric, some are sort of foamy or sponge-like. And the differences between those is really... I would say, personal preference. Some are more transparent in terms of your vision than others, and some are denser. Uh, ones like this, which are metal, they channel the air in a specific direction away from the microphone rather than just wholesale diffusing it like a sponge or nylon one would. The difference in terms of the pops or air going through are uh, somewhat negligible if I'm being honest in my own uh, personal experience. I bought this metal one because it was just the first one to come across my feed, to be honest. Uh, one sort of small difference between these metal screens and the nylon ones is the nylon ones will stop your spit better than the metal ones will. These have larger holes that allow more air and sound waves to move through more transparently, at least by their claim. 
Uh, but they also allow little flecks of moisture to go through, and those can interact with your microphone, which over a long period of time, or if you're a particularly spittily person, uh, may damage your microphone. So that's something to consider as well. So to sort of summarize, clown noses, great for low profile. And if you want to tone down the higher frequencies of a microphone, if it's particularly bright for you, uh, and the screens are great if you're looking for a more transparent sound. Metal will be a little bit more transparent, or so they claim, and nylon or sponge will sort of take out a little bit of the spittle factor, whereas the metal ones won't do as good a job at that. And there you have it. If you have any questions about this or anything else voiceover related, please feel free to drop me a line below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You're also more than welcome to reach out to me via my website, which is also linked below. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, those are also available on my website. And uh, reach out if you're interested in that, and I'll get back to you as well. So until the next one of these, please be well, and I'll catch you then. Toodles. Toodles.